everybody, it's Trish here. Today is Monday and I am doing a quick catch up for last week's Friday Sews. Um, the last time I spoke to you, I had just been to the sewing studio with Jen when she came to spend a week with me and we had a fabulous time. Um, I miss you, Jen. And um, so I had bought a bunch of fabric and I wanted to come home and sew up a bunch of stuff that I had planned for it. And I did just that. So let me just show you what I made. Starting with this little cardigan, I made the view that you see right here in the front, and I had purchased this fabric, these two pieces that went well together, and I love it. I love the little peplum that's very flowy. I put the contrasting piece on the sleeves, and I actually wore this when I went to Orlando to meet Jen and Carol this past week, and um, I'll tell you about that later. But it turned out really cute and it worked out really well because it was a rainy monsoon of a day and there was tornado watches and at least I had a little cover up on. So I'm super happy with that. That is Simplicity 8172. Goes together super quick. So I highly recommend that pattern. And I'm gonna make another one. I don't know what fabric I will use, but it's just too cute and easy. So that one will be a repeat. The next thing I made was this Gertie blouse. This is Simplicity 9295. I made this version right here, the sleeveless one. And it is the shirt that I am wearing. So I don't know if you can see that. My only issue with this, it's super easy. It's got an easy collar, everything. The facing is built in, so it's super easy to make. My only issue with it is that it's just a little bit short and I prefer a little more bum coverage in my shirts. So I'm gonna lengthen this for the next time. And um, I think I'm gonna adjust my pattern to lengthen it. But I love the shirt and I'm super happy with it. This is a cotton lawn, really nice. It's like Tana lawn. It's super just soft and cool and comfortable for summer. So that is the Gertie blouse. Then I made my favorite pants. As you can see, I've got it fave written across the front of here. I made this view of Simplicity 8841. I've made these pants so many times and um, basically they're just, well they're starting to stretch out because they're linen, but it's just um, a linen pant with holster pockets and it has an elastic waist and um, I made them ankle length and this linen is kind of denim colored so I like that that it kind of would replace a pair of jeans for the summer. Um, and so I did top stitching in pink on this. You probably can't tell it, but I just wanted it to match this shirt. And so I like this outfit. I've been getting a lot of wear out of it already. So that is Simplicity 8841. The next item I made was this new look pattern, new look 6863. And I want to think I don't know if I thrifted this pattern or if it was given to me by someone, but somebody saw it and said, that is you. And I really think, I don't know if Carol gave me this or Adam, I can't remember. But um, speaking of Adam, before I tell you about this dress, he sent me the buttons that are on this cute little shirt, this little Gertie shirt. I don't know if you can see those, but they're so pretty and they matched so well and I love them. They're little resin buttons and those were a gift from my adorable Adam. So anyways, back to this dress. I made this dress out of a beautiful 100% rayon I got at the sewing studio. It turned out so cute. However, the sleeves on mine got botched. I mean, I really boogered them up. So I just took the sleeves off because I wear sleeveless most of the time anyway, and I can always make a little cardigan to go over it. It has patch pockets with a little knot on them, you can see there, and it has pleats in the front on either side and on the back on either side, so it gives it a really nice shape. And this rayon is super flowy, drapey. It is so cool and comfortable. I've worn it quite a few times already, and that's gonna be a for sure for summer. For all summer. And then the final thing that I made was this bird pattern, Berta 6208. I made this dress with the half sleeves, 
the ruffle at the bottom. You can see that it has a piece of lace down the front. And um, the way they suggest that you make this dress was just stupid, okay? It was just stupid. They wanted you to have two separate pieces, put the lace on the separate pieces, then sew it together, and I said, no, we're not doing that. We're gonna lay this on the fold, iron a crease in it, put the lace down the iron crease, and be done with it. So that's what I did. Here's the lace. I also put lace on the sleeves, and I also put it on the ruffle on the bottom because I felt like this thing just needed some personality. And um, I made this from a thrifted cotton sateen sheet. It's super soft. And, um, you know, the only thing for me is having sleeves because in the summer I am not going to wear these sleeves, you know. So um, don't be surprised if you see me back on here and I have taken these sleeves off and made it sleeveless because... I just can't tolerate a sleeve on me in my arm, under my arm in the summer. But I like it, it's a nice, it could be a good little summer church dress maybe because it's kind of cool in church sometimes. And I just think it's really pretty. The sheet is really a pretty little print, very subtle. So that was a success. And let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five items. So those are the five items that I made over the period of the last time I spoke with you. Um, since that time also, I got to see Jen again. She came to Orlando where Carol and her family were um, staying to have a vacation. And so we got to get together with Carol and um, we went and did thrifting and eating and fabric shopping and laughing and singing and you name it, we did all of it. We had a great time. And we just basically kidnapped Carol for a day from her family. So thanks to Chris for letting us kidnap your wife. Um, we brought her home at the last possible moment. We kept her as long as we could. Um, in fact, I got to see Carol three times while she was in town, which was wonderful. Um, her and Chris came over one day and just sat and had tea and a little brunch with me one day. And we enjoyed the back porch and the breeze. It was a gorgeous day and fed all the animals and just enjoyed talking with them and having their company. Then I saw her again when Jen came up and we went shopping. And I'm gonna put a picture in of the three of us while we were shopping. I didn't take a lot of footage, but I did get one photo of a couple of photos of us. And then um, I got to see Carol again when she brought the kids over to see the farm. So that was really fun, and um, I am just treasure the time that I got to spend with her and with Jen. We are the three amigos. I mean, we just click, we just pick right up where we left off and have a great time together, and I really, I just treasure that time. That was super fun. There's a lot of our sewing sisters that I wish could have joined us, um, and maybe next year, hopefully next year, maybe expo time, everybody can get together again like we did last year. But we're gonna keep having fun though in the meantime. So really, I don't have much of anything to talk about regarding life because um, my whole life was wrapped up in getting to see my friends, having the company, and just enjoying the time with them. And I just devoted that time to them. I didn't try, didn't have anything on my own agenda. So we got to really just enjoy each other. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put a couple of pictures in behind this little clip of the three of us. And um, let's see what else we did. I'm really proud of myself. I went to Joanne's and came out empty handed. That's a first. I don't think I've ever come out of Joanne's empty handed before. So um, that was, you know, victory for me. Um, but good thing we didn't go back to Sewing Studio because I'm sure I could have spent some more money there. They have quality fabrics. Nice. A little more expensive, but definitely worth it. So I suggest you go pop in there if you're in Orlando. Okay, that is all I have for now. I do have one thing that I want to make for next time, before I see you next time, and it's this dress. It's Simplicity 9596. And it has this lantern shape. You see that? I like that lantern shape and I like the big pockets and I like the fall of the front, how it's loose 
It looks very loose and comfortable for summer. And I have picked out a fabric for it that just so happens to be in the wash. Now, my friend Carol, when she was in town, we went to Hobby Lobby and she found this linen and rayon fabric. It's poppy red with little flowers on it. It is gorgeous. The texture of it is gorgeous. And she bought some and um, she's like, are you gonna get some? Are you gonna get some before it runs out? You better hurry up and get it. And I said, no, I'm gonna wait until it goes on 40% off sale at my Hobby Lobby because every other week the fabric goes on sale 40% off. So I did go this morning. I popped in there and picked up that fabric. It's in the wash now and it will become this little dress right here. So that's the next thing up on my agenda. I do wanna make some more of these um, Gertie shirts and I'm gonna adjust the pattern just a little bit maybe so it's not quite as pulling in the front. Just give it a little bit of room there. And of course I'm gonna lengthen it. So other than that, I don't have any plans for the next week. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time on the hammock because the weather is beautiful. And um, I think there are a couple days expected to get up close to 90 or 91. So on those days, I'll be cranking the AC and working up here in the sewing room. Um, so that's pretty much life. I'm gonna put a little bit of footage or, or pictures at the end of this video so that you can see us three girls together just having a fantastic time. Life is good, God is good. I just am so thankful for the time we had together. I treasure it. Um, other than that, I guess I'll catch you on the next Friday Sews. Bye. Miles. Here we are in Goodwill, Goodwill with my two besties and we're yes. getting ready to go look at all the textiles and patterns and this place is huge. So, we're going to have a good time. Wish you were with us. <laughs>